Stutthof concentration camp was one of the deadliest sites of the Second World War. It was guarded by a number of evil SS men and women who made the prisoners' lives a misery. They established reigns of terror over them, with executions being carried out on a daily basis within the barbed wire fences of Stutthof. Around 65,000 prisoners never made it out of the camp alive. There were a series of trials that took place after the war, and many men and women were condemned to death during these trials. The executions took place on Biskupia Gorka, a huge hill in Gdansk. On the hill were 20,000 people who witnessed the executions, which occurred on a large gallows so everyone could see. One of the women brought to the gallows that day was Gerda Steinhoff. She arrived at Stutthof late in the conflict, answering an SS call to work at the camp. However, she became known for her evil and brutality, and at the age of just 24, she was executed for her work at the camp. Join us today as we look at the execution of Gerda Steinhoff. Gerda Steinhoff, From Normalcy to Brutality Gerda Steinhoff was born on the 29th of January 1922 in Danzig, also known as Gdansk. She had a normal upbringing, and as a teenager, she worked as a housemaid on a farm near her home. After leaving school in 1939, she worked in a bakery in Danzig. Later, Gerda took a new job working as a conductor on the trams. As the Second World War continued, she continued working in Danzig and got married in 1944, after which she had a child. However, in the same year, she answered the call made by the Nazis for new guards to work inside the concentration camps. They made this request in many towns because former guards had been drafted to the front lines to fight the Soviets and the Allies as the war turned against the Germans. Gerda Steinhoff then received training at Stutthof concentration camp, located near her home. After a short training period, she joined the staff there on the 1st of October, 1944. Gerda Steinhoff became a Blockleiterin, or a block leader on that day. She belonged to a group or block of women and prisoners. Stutthof, where she worked, was a camp that opened after the German invasion of Poland. As soon as the Germans invaded, people were rounded up and sent there. The first inmates were tasked with building the camp, including the barrack buildings. Stutthof evolved over the years, and in 1942, it became a concentration camp. The initial site was surrounded by barbed wire fences and consisted of eight barracks and a bunkhouse for SS guards. The camp expanded, and a new site was built next to the old one. The new camp had 30 barracks, a crematorium, and a gas chamber. The final solution was carried out at Stutthof. The camp staff was made up of German SS guards, and many people, including women, were enlisted to work and manage the women's section. Gerda Steinhoff worked alongside other women, such as Iwa Paradis, Jenny Wanda Barkman, and Hertha Boda. The prisoners at Stutthof came from various countries, and a significant number of them were sent from Auschwitz to work there. The conditions at the camp were incredibly tough, and tens of thousands of prisoners died from starvation and disease. Typhus epidemics swept through the camp in the winters of 1942 and 1944. Prisoners considered too weak to work were sent to the small gas chamber at Stutthof. Thousands died inside the chamber before being taken to the crematorium. Executions were carried out on a daily basis, and doctors administered phenol injections to take the lives of weak inmates. The guards also drowned and beat prisoners to death with weapons. Prisoners were sent for forced labor to numerous Nazi businesses supporting the war effort, and they were subjected to harsh conditions. An aircraft factory was even established at Stutthof, and there were several subcamps. The evacuation of Stutthof and Gerda Steinhoff's role. As the war was coming to an end, the evacuation of Stutthof took place. Approximately 50,000 prisoners were shipped out of the camp, and many were marched toward the sea. Upon arrival, German SS guards executed them by shooting them with machine guns as they marched into the sea. This happened multiple times, and further executions took place during the death marches. It is estimated that around 25,000 prisoners died during the evacuation efforts. Gerda Steinhoff, a guard at Stutthof, actively participated in the killing process. She became known for her involvement in prisoner selections, sending many to their deaths in the gas chambers. The Nazis valued her horrific work, and she was promoted to SS Oberaufseherin, a senior female guard who oversaw other women. On the 1st of December 1944, she was reassigned to other subcamps at Stutthof, including the Bromberg Outcamp located 105 miles south of Danzig. During her time there, she received a medal for her service to the Nazi Third Reich. Steinhoff was known for being a brutal and savage overseer who would whip and beat the prisoners. However, when the evacuations were taking place, she decided to flee Stutthof and the subcamp, returning home to her family life. However, the authorities soon caught up with her. Following the liberation of the camp, several guards were arrested based on guard lists that were found. Gerda Steinhoff was arrested by Polish officials on the 25th of May, 1945. 
She was interrogated and subsequently tried in the first Stutthof trial along with many other SS female guards and staff. During the trial, numerous witnesses came forward to testify about her actions at various subcamps. They described her brutal beatings and her involvement in prisoner selections, highlighting her sadistic nature and the hourly assaults and abuse she inflicted on inmates. The Trial and Execution of Goethe Steinhoff The judges were taken aback when they discovered that Steinhoff had only served as a guard for a year. What shocked them even more was the terrifying number of crimes she had committed in such a short time. As the trial reached its conclusion, Steinhoff, along with other women, received the death sentence for their participation in the selections and their heinous crimes against humanity. For a brief period, Goethe Steinhoff was imprisoned until July 4, 1946, when she was taken to Biskupia Gorka Hill, an imposing mound in Gdansk that held a haunting secret. Perched atop this hill were several colossal wooden gallows, awaiting the impending executions. The crowd gathered as Goethe Steinhoff and her fellow condemned individuals were led out before them. They were loaded onto trucks, and with assistance, Steinhoff found herself seated on a stool at the back of one of the vehicles. The noose was then cast over the gallows, and with a rumble, the truck drove away, leaving her lifeless body hanging. The execution of Goethe Steinhoff, alongside the other SS guards, served as a profound symbol of justice for the victims of the Stutthof concentration camp. It forcefully brought to light the extent of the unspeakable atrocities committed during the Holocaust, while underscoring the vital need for those responsible to face consequences for their unimaginable crimes against humanity. For the survivors and victims of Stutthof concentration camp, the execution of Goethe Steinhoff provided a semblance of closure. It acted as a poignant reminder of the immense brutality inflicted during the Holocaust and stressed the significance of holding individuals accountable for their actions. The horrors endured within Stutthof and other concentration camps are forever etched in our collective memory, serving as a solemn and cautionary reminder of the darkest chapters in human history. In the annals of history, the execution of Goethe Steinhoff stands as a resounding testament to the pursuit of justice and accountability for the unspeakable horrors committed during the Holocaust. The significance of this event extends far beyond the boundaries of Stutthof concentration camp, resonating deeply with survivors and victims alike. As Goethe Steinhoff, alongside her fellow condemned SS guards, met their fate on Biskupia Gorka Hill, the world bore witness to a profound symbol of retribution. This act forcefully exposed the depths of inhumanity perpetrated during that dark era, reinforcing the imperative of holding individuals responsible for their crimes against humanity. The execution not only provided a measure of closure for the survivors, but it also serves as a solemn reminder of the unimaginable brutality that unfolded within the barbed wire confines of Stutthof and other concentration camps, urging us to never forget the darkest chapters in human history and to remain vigilant against any form of tyranny and persecution.